But before we dive in, I would love to kind of get your sense, you know, what do you think about quantum mechanics? Let's ask this question. Quantum computing is blah. Can we start with you, Aaron? I don't know. I, I, even after all that studying, it still seems like sci-fi to me. Something from a sci-fi movie. I mean, honestly, I've never seen a supercomputer in real life, but even after trying to study this, I'm still thinking, does this actually exist? Okay. So, yeah. All right. I defy it as like unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> unicorn. Okay. Something half mythical feeling to many people is quite doesn't feel real yet. Yeah, okay. I, I agree with you. Uh -huh. For me, it's like a puzzle that's really hard to solve. I mean, it seems like there's a logic behind it, but because it's so different to regular computers that we're used to, uh, to be honest, so I haven't really figured it out well in my head. Okay. Me, yeah. yeah, I would say it's like a cheat code because it's able to do tons of calculations mm -hmm. at once. So it's like almost unfair. Uh, like mm -hmm. it's like it would change. I, I believe it would change the world of the rules of the entire game, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, that's great. Um, I think it looks like all of you have different thoughts on it. And you know, those are all valid points. And one theme I see underlying is something we really don't understand. Right? It's something mysterious, like mm -hmm. a unicorn. Or, um, and I would think of it as a door. It is a door that we can open up. Uh -huh. And I, I think, in, in my mind, we're just peeking through the door today um, to this different world, a different dimension, different rules by which the world and the universe works compared to uh, what we um, experience day-to-day -day lives. Uh, so in order to get to that, um, see if we can get a little bit of a peek into the door, and I'll bring you to my laboratory at, at Duke University. You can see what's going on in these labs. 